Last time, we challenged the Bansley girls to learn a new skill and asked them to keep walking to school. Let's see if they met the challenge. The biggest change I think for the kids has been uh, walking to school uh, twice a week as it was our goal and we've, we've managed to meet that goal. It was a, I don't know, a big step for us to release some responsibility and, and trust that they're going to be able to walk home by themselves and they've done a great job. Uh, there was some resistance but uh, we, we held to it. The girls took their skill challenge pretty seriously and all three have become expert stilts walkers. I cannot believe how those kids are in those stilts. Like, they literally can do laps around this house. They practice way more stilts than hula hoops. The Bansleys have some excellent results to show for all their hard work. So one of your challenges was to reduce screen time and you guys did an awesome job. Do you want to know your results? Yeah. Yeah? So Quinn went from an average of four hours to 1.9 hours. Awesome. Chloe went from an average of 2.2 hours to 1.6. And Miss Clara went from an average of 2.3 hours to 1.9. The girls have equally impressive results when it comes to physical activity, averaging between 14,000 and 17,000 steps a day. Well, that's exciting. It's, it's, it's uh, evidence that you can easily do it. We noticed a big difference with the walking from school. Like the days that they did that, the um, pedometers showed it. When they're um, not allowed to have screen time, then they are more active and doing active things. Scott and Laura say the time and commitment it takes to create a more active lifestyle are worth it. Like we've seen a change in, in, in some of our uh, habits for activity, but also just a change in, in the amount of time we spend try, doing stuff together. And uh, I, I think it's just more peaceful. I'm not sure if it's the activity or if it's just uh, less screen time, that noise in the background. To make that swap, for activity took the challenges you issued and some of the suggestions and things like that for us to get them moving more. I feel good about the changes we have made and there's still some room to, to grow. The Bansleys say reactivity has been beneficial for the whole family. The sense of cooperation that our, our family has been able to achieve. Is like the kids are much more aware of, you know, we need to be active. And when I hear Chloe say things like, you know, I thought we were pretty active, but once you look at it or, or think about it, you know, realize we, we really aren't that active. And so for her to have that awareness as a 10 year old, I, I think is good and, and will hopefully lead to a lifelong commitment to being more physically active. And again, uh, there's, there's more laughing, there's more giggling. And, and so that, that's mm -hmm. gotta be a benefit. Yeah. Scott and Laura have some advice for other families who want to get more active. What's really done it for me is, is actually having a policy written down and I think that's made us more accountable. It takes a commitment and, and some patience um, but I mean I think we're living proof that it can be done. The other thing that, that I found was valuable is, is we sat down as a family and really discussed it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just uh, imposed upon our family you know, realizing that that resistance is going to go away. The kids naturally are going to test you and see if you're going to follow through. And so you just need to persevere. And, and the girls have some advice for other kids too. You know, make outside a video game. I like try to make a game kind of like a video game almost. They, they should try to get outside more you know, and do fun games and stuff. We'll follow up with the Bansleys in a couple of months, but Scott and Laura assure us the rules won't change when the cameras leave. Oh, for me, it's a done deal. I, you kind of come to that realization there's so much more that they can be doing than sitting like bumps on the log. It's funner than just sitting and watching TV. When we first started, you, there was a lot of talk about connectedness. 
How do you feel you've reached, have you feel you've reached that goal? I think we're, we're um, I wouldn't say we've reached the goal. I think we're definitely on the road to reaching that goal. Every time you, uh, you, you try and do something with the kids, if, if, if you lead them in, in going outside for their walk, and once you're out there, some, it, it does take some, some pushing to get them out the door. But once you're out walking around the block, you're chatting, you're watching stuff, and, and it, it's, it's great, actually. But I definitely think that, you know, we, we have learned a lot of things and it'll be a shame on us if we don't keep it up right. Has this been a permanent lifestyle change for the Bansleys? Join us in a couple of months to check back to see if they've managed to stick with it. <laughs>